right, hi everybody. Uh, welcome to this exciting episodes of Bob the Sign Man. I decided instead of boring you all to death with a lengthy video on this sign that I'm making, it's taken me quite a bit of time to make it. I work on it a little here, a little there. I thought I'd try, try something different and I'd make the video in maybe three parts. I can show kind of part one, part two, part three. Like I said, instead of boring you with like a torturing you, I guess you'd say, with a 30-minute video, I thought I'd hammer away at you with two, maybe three, 10, 15-minute videos. We'll see how it turns out. Anyways, this will be the first episode one of the SB1 sign, which is California put a 12-cent gas tax. I think in the video I say 13, but it's really 12. Um, they put a 12-cent gas tax, and people are all, oh, up in arms about it, but that's okay. They don't care because the Refineries will shoot up the price of gas 50 75 cents during the summer anyways for no apparent reason um, So at least we're getting road work done and patching up some potholes and stuff. So anyways SB I think it's Senate bill number one is what it stands for. I don't know Anyways, it's pretty controversial. They're gonna have a recall on it, but it's putting a lot of people to work We have a lot of projects funded by it and I hope it doesn't get repealed because that's kind of the business I'm in anyways, um, so I hope you enjoy my next three episodes of Bob the Sign Man building the SB1 sign trailer. What we're going to do is we're going to take this sign and we're going to put it on a trailer. We have an old flip trailer that we used to like a message trailer. Anyways, it doesn't work anymore, so we're going to go ahead and uh, convert it over to a trailer. And we're just going to haul it around to our job sites whenever we're doing these um, special funding builds. So stay tuned. Episode 1, coming your way. All right, hello everybody. Welcome to this exciting episode of Bob the Sign Man. Today, well over the next few days, I'm going to be making some road project sign called SB1. I don't know what SB1 stands for. Anyways, it's a road tax that they placed in California on the gasoline. Uh, 13 cents a gallon is supposed to go to road improvements. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is this big sign here. I got the blank. I had to order these special. I have two of them. They are four foot by six foot. And so far, this will probably be about the biggest sign I try to run through my sign machine. Usually, I make them in two pieces, but uh, this time I decided to make it in one piece because it's going to be assembled on a trailer, and we'll park it at our job site whenever we're going to be working on the SB1. Let people know what their gas tax dollars is going for. So, since I don't have any 48-inch material, I just have 36. As you can see on my rolls over there. I've cut out two sheets, four by three. Well, they're three feet, I've made them four foot long, and I'm gonna piece them together. I showed you in some other episodes how I piece those together, but uh, I think I'll just show you a little preview on how I do that. Okay, I'm back again here. Um, so, kind of what I'm gonna do, since I don't have the 48 inch material, it's kind of a bummer, but I just don't have it. We never really order it. So I'm gonna take my factory seams, and I'm gonna butt them right up next to each other. I've uh, had some people say, oh, you can't butt the seams up, they'll shrink or whatever, but I actually, when I first started doing this job, somebody told me that, so I, I made a sign and I threw it up on top of the roof where I butted the seams together. And so far, after about 12 years of sitting on top of a hot roof, the uh, sheeting has faded, but it hasn't shrunk at all. So what I do is I just put a little bit of scotch tape on these seams to hold them together. I'm going to have to step around the other side of the table to get the other side here. And this is such a big sign. It's going to be on a little trailer that we have. Uh, it was an old message board that doesn't work anymore, so we're going to convert it over to like our own portable manual message trailer, I guess you'd call it. So what I'm going to do is just tape these together so they'll kind of hold for now. Again, I've got some uh, shipping tape. It's about, I don't know, a little over an inch. What is it? An inch of 1.88. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and uh, right on the seam, I'm going to piece this way. And I'm going to cover that seam with the scotch tape with this uh, shipping tape. Okay, now I'm going to flip it over. And I have my 
seam on top here. You can't really hardly see it, but I'm just going to go ahead take on that side, side, finish this side. All right, now what I have, like I said, my sign was a four by six, so I didn't have any uh, 48 inch material. Four All right, here we go again. Uh, I've got my four by six foot sign blank centered in here. I've got my sheeting on top. I decided to use HIP since it's not a real, has nothing to do with traffic control or anything. So I just didn't use the good diamond grade. I used the HIP. It's still a good reflective material. It's made by 3M. It still gives good reflectivity. So I've got it centered kind of pinched in the middle here. So I'm going to do, since I told you, since I added the refrigerator in here, I don't have enough room anymore. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do half at a time. I'll show you how I do that. I peel this half back. I'm going to go ahead and get the This is kind of a pain in the neck to do by yourself. I usually can go get somebody to help me to bring somebody around here today. So I'll just peel back most of the material here, half of it anyways, and then I'm going to make a, these cool little cutters are really cheap. And just go ahead and I'm zip off part of that material. And I'm going to try to tuck that under so I have something to grab from the other side. Like I said, I usually grab somebody to help me, but most of the time it ends up getting screwed up because just how it goes when people are helping you. So I'm going to go ahead and roll this half out now. that I tucked under. I'll just pull it back. And where I have my seam now, remember I put that strapping tape in the scotch tape? So I want to make sure that it works good. And then I pull up the whole sheet and I don't rip that seam. There we go. Okay. Pull this part back. And what's going to happen, I'm going to hit that refrigerator. I'm not going to have enough room to finish it. But I should have enough room. And just tuck it down. Yeah, I got just a few inches on that side. So. Fancy box tripod here. Put this around. See that I'm going to go ahead and trim my ends up. I just use an old, love this knife at Stanley, Fat Max. Let's go ahead and I'll trim the sides. I usually keep it about a 45 degree angle, maybe less. Just go right along and it'll just trim, trim right along that edge. camera over here, you get a better view on 
bathroom in these edges. What I do is on these corners, I'll always get the straight edge here. Just come around the corner and you know, follow it the best you can. And if you don't get it perfect, don't worry, you can just come along and clean up the little ends. I do have to warn you though, these razor knives are pretty sharp, so you always want to watch them whenever you're pulling it towards you. Make sure you, you know, don't get in a hurry. And I reached in before and got the bottom of my hands more than once. Just kind of take your time and follow along. Like I said, if you have any excess on your corners, you can just come back around and clean it up. But most of the time, after a while, you get used to it. You can just kind of follow the corner around. All right, there I have my four by six sheeted. And then, since remember I put that piece of tape on the top, what I want to do, where I seamed it together, you want to pull that seam back off. And now when that seam is butted up, it's so tight that I don't think you'll ever have a problem. I don't know if I can even get a close up to show you that seam. Uh, it's right here. And basically, all it looks like is just a line. You know, these uh, sheetings have these like little guideline markers in. Anyway, so there's my four by six sheet covered. And I'm gonna go ahead and start uh, laying out the EC. I'll show you what the sign looks like. All right, this is kind of what the sign looks like. So I printed on just a piece of paper. Uh, your tax dollars at work, Rebuilding California, SB1. That's not the real logo that's gonna go in there. The real logo looks like this. This is just a reference. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut out the blue, the black, the, and the orange and blue letters down here. And then my logos will go in the middle, but those aren't the correct logos I'm gonna be using. I was just showing you those for a reference how it's gonna look. Those logos are gonna go in here. Those logos are supposed to be 18 inches. These are only nine, so they'll be twice as big. So I'm gonna to have to lay this sign out in a couple different uh, ways here. I'm gonna to have to put the blue in separately, the blue heading up top. And then I'll go ahead and I'll cut in those orange work letters down at the bottom, and I'll kind of show you the progress of this sign as I go along. Okay, here we go. Next step in this uh, SB1 sign is I'm going to do the layout. I have this all laid out on my computer. Um, it kind of shows what color it is. I'm going to do all the blue um, area on the top here that you can see. And I'll send it over to my plotter to cut it out, and that's what it's going to look like. Uh, it is about, let's see, I think it's about 12 inches high, the blue. I think, I think it's more than that. No, it's only... 12, 16 so it'll be about 32 inches my uh, vinyl is 36 inches wide so I'll be able to get both of these at the same time since I'm making two signs and all I'm gonna do is go up here and I'm gonna click it for it to cut and I'm gonna start cutting on the plotter over here I have the blue EC film loaded in the way it goes it'll take a couple minutes to cut both those um, panels out so while it's doing that I'll Take a little break. Not really, I'll start prepping other parts of the sign. So I'm back again. I just go ahead, I'm just weeding these out, and I kind of like to share a little story with you. It's kind of funny. I, I, actually, not funny story, but it's kind of, I think it's really kind of neat. I got a phone call yesterday from a guy named Craig. He lives in. Deerfield, Illinois, and he saw some of my videos on YouTube, and um, he called and had some questions, and I, it's kind of, kind of neat. I thought it was kind of special that somebody, you know, watch, first of all, watches my videos, and then actually reached out and contacted me, and he's got a sign shop in uh, Deerfield, Illinois. I think it's in Lake County, he said, and he does uh, pretty much the same thing I do. He sent me some pictures of his shop, and we kind of got the same kind of setup, machinery. It was kind of a one-man operation. And uh, he told me his daughter is a big fan of my page, uh, Bob the Sign Man. She watches all my videos. So i just like to say hi. Thanks, Courtney, for watching. Big shout out to you for watching my videos. I think it's kind of neat that I have a little fan base. Uh, I got a guy in uh, Canada who, uh, his name's Mike K. 
he watches my YouTube videos. We correspond back and forth on uh, Facebook Messenger. So I guess you could say I'm kind of like coast to coast now, and I thought it's kind of special. Anyways, thanks again, Craig, and uh, thanks, Courtney, for being a big fan of the uh, Bob the Sign Man videos. All right, that's the end of this first exciting episode of the SB1 Sign Trailer Project. Um, I hate to end it right there and keep you guys in the suspense. I know you're just probably on the edge of your seats wanting more, but uh, there's more coming. Believe me, more coming. Um, this SB1 sign project is totally just revolutionized the sign business here at the county. Um, you'll see when it's done um, from this little idea into this vision we had. Oh, it's just going to be great. you got to watch the next episode two of the sign trailer project. Coming at you probably within, uh, hopefully within the next couple weeks.